Yeah, are we all packed? Yeah. So we can't change your mind. Hey, there's just too many people around here who've got it in for me. Oh, only Tracy and Kevin. Yeah, your daughter and the father of a young girl I work with. It's not like they're people I can ignore. Yeah, but by leaving like this, you're letting them win. But you know what? I'm past caring. Life's too short, I'm afraid. Oh, well, if you're absolutely certain. Where are you going? Uh, to stay with a friend in Chester. A nice place, do you know it? Uh, a bit. You know, it's amazing to think there was a major Roman settlement there for 400 years. Do you like history, James? Sorry, sorry, am I boring you? You, Dad, boring? Perish the thought. All right, then. Pubs. There's some real gems in Chester. Yeah, well, don't forget that James is squeaky clean, has never put a foot wrong in his whole life. He might not approve of sinful places like that. It's remarks like that that are driving him away. It's all right. Well, then you should be thanking me. Well, I just hope you're pleased with what you've done. I'm thrilled. Are uh, Simon and Amy all right upstairs? Yeah, they're happy playing. Expecting something? No. It's for you, Dad. Thank you. What is it? Oh. It's on the gas board explaining why they're increasing their charges yet again. How wonderful. So what is this surprise? Wouldn't be a surprise if I told you. You said you'd tell me this morning. You'll just have to wait for a little bit longer. Have you bought me some work? Why, what would you like? Have you booked us an holiday? Hang on. Right. Let me write this down. What? Is he Armstrong's wish list? <laughs> Stop playing games. Is it some of the flat? It is, isn't it? Is it a new telly? You're not going to get it out of me. Fine. See you back there. Hey, how are you doing? You all right? Are you all right is the question. Well, I'm uh, a bit bruised and battered after going through hell these last few days, but now I'm out the other end. To be honest with you, don't ever think I've felt better. Have you come to a decision? Yep. I'm going to stay with Leanne. And the other woman? Oh, no, that, that was over before it started. And not just that, we're going to start trying for another baby as soon as we can. Oh, that's a big jump. You didn't want any more children a couple of days ago. Yeah, I know, you know, but my head was... It was all over the place, but I do now. Are you absolutely sure? Yeah, I am absolutely positive. Yeah, I'm delighted. That's wonderful news. Thanks. So, is Leanne out of hospital yet? Yeah, I'm going to pick her up later. And she's OK? Yeah, she's, uh, she's feeling a bit fragile, but she'll be all right. Listen, I just wanted to uh, say thanks, really, for all the advice you gave me on this. Don't think I said anything, man. Ah, you listened. You know, that, that really helped me to get my thoughts in order. Well, speaking as one father to another, it's all part of the service. E, you've gone ten minutes without asking what the surprise is. What's the point? You're not going to tell me anyway. You don't have to walk me to work, you know. I don't mind. Haven't you got a job this morning? Yep. So why aren't you doing it? I uh, will be in a minute. What? You are being weird. I'll see you later then, yeah? Isabel? Hey, did you ever read that book, What's That Noise, by Isabel Ringin? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, Kurt, one of these days I'll die laughing at your jokes. It's not that funny. You're all right, is he? Gary is being so peculiar. Why? He keeps saying he's got a surprise for me and then he won't tell me what it is. Oh, I love surprises, me. Yeah, I do. What are you doing in here? Morning, Gary. You made it, then. Yep. Well, if you'd like to follow me, Kirk, I'll show you what you'll be doing. You've not got a job here. Gary is our new man in packing, everybody. Oh, nice one. What, permanent? Surprise, surprise. You're sure you sent that check? First class. Well, it's not here. I mean, did you get the address right? Yeah. OK, thanks, Bob. Oh, hi. Uh, what time are you planning on leaving? I could run you over if you like. There's been a change of plan, actually. Really? Yeah, uh, that was my friend in Chester. His uh, spare room won't be free till tomorrow now. That means you can stay another day? If that's all right. Excellent news. Well, for me, anyway. <laughs> um, that took his out for a meal this evening. Uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, hello. Have you come for James? Yeah, is he in? He's right here. Hi. All right. Yeah, not bad. I'm um, just about to make some coffee, girls. Would you like some? Yes, please. Thanks, Ken. 
My dad said he spoke to you about Robin Janet. That's right, yeah. We don't know whether or not to go down to the police station and make a statement. You've already told them everything, haven't you? Well, yeah, but I don't know. They might still want to know something else. Well, I mean, they know where to find you if they do. Yeah. Why would they want to talk to you again? Rob and Janet have been arrested. Really? When? Oh, we found out yesterday. Did you know that? Uh, yeah. yeah. So hopefully my dad might be able to get his money back. Well, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, fingers crossed. Oh, isn't this lovely for you, Izzy, working under the same roof as Gary? Yeah. Ah, oh, it's sweet. Every time you need a boost, you can just gaze across the shop floor at your beloved. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, that meeting of the eyes, that sudden thrill. What would be like when the cake order arrives? Ooh. Only times ten. Then, when you've had your love batteries recharged, oh, you can go back to sewing your gossips with gay abandon. Oh, Gary, we were just saying, it must be so lovely you and Izzy working together. Yeah, it's cool. Have these been through quality control yet? I don't know. Ask Kirk or Sally. They were over in that corner. Like I said, I don't know. It's not my department. All right, all right. Have they got little green stickers on the labels? Uh, yeah. And they've been passed. Do you want me to take you back in them now? Wouldn't be a bad idea. Come on, then. How romantic is that? Oh, I bet you've got butterflies, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I'm surprised you never told me about Rob and Janet. Why was that? Because I'm sick of talking about them, that's why. But it's a huge development. Rob and Janet are why I'm having to leave here. All the more reason to tell people they're being arrested. I mean, if he's going to clear your name, I'd be shouting it from the rooftops. Well, that's where you and I are different. It's just so depressing having to do things like that to make people believe you. Well, you prefer them all to think you're guilty? They'll find out the truth eventually. Then how bad they feel about falsely accusing me will be down to them. Oh, I don't know if that's a saintly way of looking at things or a perverse one. Whatever. It's how I am. That doesn't explain why you didn't tell me about Rob and Janet. I mean, I never falsely accused you. As I say, I'm tired of talking about it. Will the police want to speak to you again? I've no idea. Or oh, hadn't you better give them your new address, just in case? Yeah. Maybe I should. I'll uh, go around this afternoon. I'll come with you if you like. No, I'll, I'll be fine. What's going on? Just sorting out my last box from when we moved in. Yeah, well, there's a pub out here trying to run itself. You've got Betty. Exactly. Hey, it's 11.15. Keep your hair on. I won't be two minutes putting this loss away. Oh, chucking it away. Hey, that sentimental value, thank you. Well, I'd need to have... Ooh! Authentic Dutch cooking. That's what got me started, looking for my old cookbooks. Thought I'd make Carl and Eva a nice dish for the tea. Mmm, sounds nice. You looking for an invitation? Yep. Honestly, why do women have so many clothes? Are you going to stand there all day, carping? <sighs> Hang on. Oh, what now? Today's post, that's what. Oh, sorry, uh, I've... Come in and hurry and put my stuff on top of it. Yeah, after you check whether there was anything for you first. Oh, have I missed something? Yeah, Ken Barlow lives next door. Can you uh, make sure he gets this after you've sorted out your valuables? Never know, it might be urgent. Sorry. So, what do we think then? It's about Sally running the place. Well, you know what? I don't think she's doing too bad a job so far. Yeah, I'm surprised. What I've always found is, once somebody's elevated to, you know, a top position, they become much less of a pain. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like they don't need to prove a point anymore. Exactly. No more second-in-commanditis, I call it. Mm, be right. I suppose she's a bit better this morning. Hiya. I've been looking all over for you. Don't sit here, Gary. Yeah, cheers. There's no need. No, it's all right. I thought you'd have waited for me. Oh, finishing up that job? Well, I've only been five minutes. So do you come here every day? No, we like to ring the changes. Where are you going tomorrow? I don't know. Oh, I just can't bear to be apart from you, can you, Gary? And what's wrong with that, eh? Mm. Oh, manage, love. I haven't broken my legs, Peter. No, I know, but even still, you have to take Just get this. me back out of the boat, will you? Get your bag, yeah. Nice to see you back. How are you feeling? Yeah, not too bad. Anything I 
can do. No, I'm fine. Thanks. See you later then. Yeah. Right, come on, love. Ken, sorry to bother you. Stella, come in. Come oh, in. Uh, this came to the pub for you earlier. Sent to the wrong address. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would have brought it earlier, only I got a bit sidetracked. Yeah, well, I think there's a relief postman on this week. Doesn't quite know his way around. <gasps> oh, Peter just brought Leanne back from the hospital. Oh, good, good. I'll uh, I'll give her time to settle in before I go around. Right, well, I won't keep you any longer. Oh, well, thanks again. Uh, See you next time. Bye. Bye. Please, were you surprised? Don't you mean shock? Why, what's up? We spend enough time together as it is without working under the same roof and all. I thought you'd be happy. I wish you'd told me. But I'm your boyfriend. Yeah, and I love spending time with you. Don't mean we have to live in each other's pockets every minute of the day. You need a break sometimes. No, I don't need a break. Then you're weird. Thanks. Gary, is he? Back to work, please. Don't want you being a bad influence on him. So much for Sally's new enlightened attitude. Oh, yeah, that didn't last very long. Well, what did you expect? Oh, darling, don't take it to heart. It's not her, it's Gary. Oh, I thought you'd like him working here. Well, that was the one place I could get away from him. Is it not going too good? No, it's fine. He's just a bit suffocating sometimes, that's all. What you can do, then? Not much you can do, is there? Well, that's that done, then. You went to the police? Uh-huh. And what did they say? Uh, nothing much. Just gave my details to some bloke on the desk, and that was it. So, did you out? Uh, she was spending the day with a friend. She should be back soon. Uh, you OK? As a matter of fact, I'm not, no. Why? What's wrong? I was given this a couple of hours ago, just after you went out, delivered to the pub by mistake. I wondered if you knew anything about it. Oh, look, there's Daddy. Hey, hello, sweetheart. Are you having fish and chips? I am, yeah. Why? You should cook yourself something nice at home. I uh, seem to get elbowed out these days by the family and residence. Well, it's worked out well for you then, hasn't it? Giving her the job instead of me. And you need a shave. Yeah. Come and have your tea with us. I've ordered this special now, so I've got to pay for it. Your funeral. Can we have fish and chips with Daddy? Would you like that? Okay. Be a nice treat, won't it? Don't mind, do you? No, no, no. Why would I mind? Well? It's addressed to you. Why would I know anything about it? And that's all you've got to say? <laughs> well, you've borrowed money against the house. What do you want, my opinion? Except I did no such thing, as I think you know perfectly well. Oh, come on, James, I've had two hours to think about this. I rang the loan company. The house was valued on the day you sent me and Deirdre to the theatre. The surveyor met a man who was acting for his grandfather. Do you want me to go on? Was he the man the day me saw? Is that why you've been jumpy these last few mornings every time the mail comes? And is that the reason why you're staying an extra day? All right. It was me. Why? I felt bad about Kevin losing his money. I wanted to pay him back. Oh, so you thought you'd rob me? I was going to return every penny. And that makes it OK? And in any way, you didn't need 50,000 to repay Kevin. Wh where is the cheque?
I believed in you. I put my neck on the line for you, against your father, against Tracy. I gave you shelter. I know. And this is how you repay me. I would have just about understood it if it had been an opportunist thing, but to plot it in such detail, stealing my passport, the deeds to the house. Borrowing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's fine then. If you just borrowed it, let's shake hands and forget it ever happened. Whatever possessed you? Was it that scam in the soup kitchen that gave you the idea? You didn't have anything to do with that. Oh, please God say you didn't. Oh, no. Hey, Hiya. How are you feeling, eh? Oh, I'm not too bad. Was Cheryl okay about picking Sai up? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. He's just playing in his room. Right. Can I get you anything? No, not really. That means yes. No, it doesn't. <gasps> yes, it does. Well, I won't mind a cup of tea if you can be bothered. Ah, you see. Do you have a good day? Oh, yeah, I'd say so. Back on track with you, aren't I? Are you still sure about trying for another baby? Why? You're getting cold feet. No, it's just... Well, I don't want it unless you're absolutely certain. It's a big thing. Yeah, I am, I'm certain. And if you're still worried that you're too old to be a dad again, then now's the time to say it. Hey, we had this conversation last night. Yeah, we did. But you've had another day to think about it, and if you have changed your mind, I understand. Lee, look, I just had a little wobble, that's all. Pretty serious one. Yeah, but I'm over it now. Love, I promise. Does this mean I might have a little brother or a sister? All that fine talk about making the world a better place. Was that a front or what? It fools most people. I thought you were a good person. The man with the dream, like I was when I was your age. You're no better than a nasty little crook. I'd rather be a crook than a sad, old, boring hypocrite like you. At least I'm under no illusions. I can't believe I'm hearing this. It's about time someone told you the truth about yourself. Well, I might be a pathetic old failure, but I'd never use a charity to con people. And that's a stealing from your own family. <laughs> oh, give me a break. Family? Well, aren't we? I don't have a family. Oh, we all go through phases of rejecting our parents. Oh, spare me the lecture, will you? It was your half-baked 1960s brainwashed apology for a brain that started all this. What? Sleeping around, moving on to someone new when the old girlfriend wasn't doing it for you anymore, regardless of the consequences. I never knew your grandmother was pregnant, if that's what you're getting at. All I know is I'm like I am because of my lousy father. And he's like he is because of you. So what's this, revenge? And what are you saying? Nobody's guilty of anything. We all just blame our parents and do what the hell we want. If you like. Well, that's a complete abdication of moral responsibility. Sorry, this is too intellectual for a nasty little crook like me. I'm going to go get my things and go. And do it again to someone else? Probably. You really have no remorse, do you? The only thing I'm sorry about is getting caught. Who are you ringing? The police. Bad move. Yeah, it's something I should have done straight away. Give that to me. I'm sorry, <coughs> Jane, but this is a serious fraud. Give it to me, you stupid old fool. <coughs> These things aren't as simple as they might sound, you know. Yes, but you were talking about it. I heard you. You can try for babies, and sometimes, well, it just doesn't work out. And all that. So, would you like a little brother or sister? Do you choose which to have? No, unfortunately, that's the one thing you can't do. Which would you prefer? Boy, of course, girls are stupid. Well, that's a chance you have to take. But I'll put up with a girl if that's what comes, I suppose. So, all told, then, you're in favour? I wouldn't say no. Well, that sounds like a seal of approval to me. Well, if you're serious, you better hurry up and get on with it, aren't you? <laughs> Why do you save your fish till last? Because it's the best bit. That's why you eat it first in case it goes cold. It's not daft to say. So how many years have you been eating it the wrong way round for? <laughs> how often does it go cold, though? Hardly ever. No, cos I eat it first. <laughs> you know, you are looking for trouble. Daddies don't like to be in the wrong. And they eat little girls. Oh, my God, look so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice, isn't it, Amy? Having tea with Daddy, the three of us together. Yeah, I love it. 
Okay, it's Amy's sports day tomorrow. Will you come and see me race, Daddy? Well, I'm meant to be working, but I'll see what I can do. Oh, fantastic. Hey, you could come round earlier if you like. We could make a day of it. Oh, oh the queues in Freshgoes. And I thought nobody had any money. Ken! What's happened? <sighs> My loving grandson. Wait, he did this to you? After nearly conning me out of fifty thousand pounds. Tell you what's going on, Rory. I've been talking to Connor and Liam. I know it was Seamus Devlin who put those marks in your back. You went back there to get even with him. Another case for Jack. Single-handed is next tonight here on ITV One.